Well, hello, ladies, gents, boys, and girlies. Welcome back to another episode of H1Z1. <coughs> I do apologise. It's been a while, but uh, uh, I've been a bit busy doing other things. Um, but uh, we are back. And today I have noticed there's been yet another uh, member to the family brought in. Yes, indeed, it's the uh, the Deck Foundation... Um, attachable stairs and the ramp uh-huh um as it happens we do actually have a couple of um oh you, you get up uh tamper grounds going spare to uh, experiment on one there and one there um so is what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and make a actually i think we might already have a foundation but uh, that one was actually made before uh, before the update. So hopefully um, it will work. But if not, we could always make another one. Might mean having to go off and get a bit of more scrap metal. But uh, other than that, I think we've got all the, uh, all the necessaries. Um, yeah, and also the ramp. Uh, we can make a ramp as well. So uh, hopefully... Um, now it's, it's a shame really because I'm hoping, well I was hoping that you'd be able to attach that ramp to sort of like, um, you know, this here. You could attach it to the stairs here if you wanted or attach it to uh, one of the uh, the shacks. Make it easier to walk up on. But uh, we shall see. You never know. Um, yeah, well, I've put some uh, beehives or bee boxes down uh, so as we can get a bit of honey for our bandages. Um, I've not really, 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 really done a great deal since the last episode because, like I said, I, yeah, I've been, um, I've not been neglecting H1Z1. It's just been, it's got to the stage again now where all we're going to be able to do is, you know, make our base even bigger you know um or uh tart this one up but uh now the uh the uh, the attachable stairs and the uh, the ramp has been implemented into the game things might be uh slightly different so so i think we should go and check uh, now i've not made any any uh stairs or um or ramps but uh, if we go in here, now I've got a lot of repairing to do by the looks of things. If you have a look around, you will see um, there's a lot of health bars. Um, now I didn't realise that uh, storage crates, I think, yeah, it is actually. Before I go any further, um, I've got a hammer somewhere. There's one there. Oh, we've got another one there as well, which is handy. So let's uh, repair these uh, storage boxes if we can, because I do not want to come here and find that everything has gone down to my own stupidity, stupidity and not taking any notice of the health bars. So let's get on a hammer. In. This might get a little bit boring for you, but uh, it needs must, I'm afraid. So there's... There's uh, container number one repaired. <clears throat> Come along, hurry, hurry, hurry. Thought you might have been able to sort of like uh, repair it a bit quicker than this. Oh, there's number two repaired. These are my vital chests. But I shall um, repair all of them because, uh, you know, got a lot of uh, valuable kind of stuff in each and every one of them but the this one here well these ones here are actually uh, the most important <clears throat> and also i'll probably have to um, put the codes back in my doors i'm not sure whether you know any sort of like major update like this will affect your doors but my voice to you would probably be to uh, go and put the codes back in, just in case. Uh, the sleeping mat needs repairing as well. Well, they're all quite uh, all quite low, even the animal traps. 
So what I should do, just for a second or two, because I'm not going to bore you with all of this repair work, is uh, I should go away and I shall come back. And we'll get on with the, uh, the, uh, the stairs, the deck foundation and the ramp. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. And we are back, ladies, gents, boys and goodies, we are back. Right, I've gone around and I've repaired a few things. Uh, there's still a few that need to be done, but we can do those off camera later on. Um, I've done the vitals in here, so my shack is now secure. The locks have been uh, updated, the security locks. Right, now, I've already discovered the um, the recipe it's not going to be found in there. Right, if we go in here. Now, crafting. So is what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for foundation. Right, see now, this is the one that I actually made. Well, th th this is what it looks like now. If you look inside here. Now, this is one that I made the other day. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look as though there's a staircase on it. So, therefore, I think... Um, even though you've made some prior to the update, they might just very well, you know, automatically change. Hopefully, fingers crossed, whether we don't have to make another one, because it's a lot more materials, as we already know. So, uh, the foundation ramp is here. Now, to make one of those, all you're going to have to discover is, or use to discover is, 12 wooden planks, 20 nails, and 4 metal brackets. So there's your ramp. And uh, the stairs, they will be 4 metal brackets, 20 wooden plank, and 12 nails. Okay, now how much has this changed? Because you shouldn't really need half as much now because you've got no stairs attached. So it's 16 wooden planks, 20 nails, 8 metal brackets, and 4 wood logs. So that's what you need now to uh, to discover the uh, foundation. Now, as I said, we've got one already in here. I'm going to see now if that win that win that one will work. Let's put uh, let's put this bad boy back in here. We've got 27 scrap metal. So let me just try this. This da, 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 da. Okay, well let, let's take that one across over to the found uh to the Tampa ground and actually no let's make the uh let's make the uh the stairs and a ramp before we uh we take part in that. Right, so there's the ramp. We'll have a look to see what the ramp looks like. So let's craft one of those bad boys. <coughs> Yes, I've been playing a lot of uh, Life is Feudal, and there's this new game that's come out. It's called Ark. A-R-K. It's a dinosaur survival world. Yes. We've been playing that. I've been made, making a couple of um, couple of uh, episodes of that. Hopefully turn it into a series if we can. But I'm not going to be... Um, Turning my back on H1, far from it, because H1 has been uh, a great game to uh, to be playing. But I'm just trying to uh, work my work my way around each each game. Right, okay. So we have all three of those made: the stairs, the ramp, and a foundation. Let's try and get it done before. Nightfall. Close the door. Yeah, I've got a lot of repairs to be done around here. A hell of a lot. So you're just going to have to bear that in mind now, ladies, gents, boys and girls. Um, every panel, I think, is going to need repairing at some stage. So it's going to mean a load of hammers. So let's get across here. Alrighty, let's not. Let's get back up there. Let's jump down here. Now the only problem with having all those bee boxes around is it's going to mean there's going to be a lot, I mean a lot, of uh, bears I would imagine floating about here. Well not literally floating, you know what I mean. Right, let's just try this deck foundation. I'm just going to stand here. Now the problem we've got are these bloody bears. 
Uh, we might have been better off trying something up there. Because what I would like to do, you know, is to be able to join this. I know it's at an angle, but it's to jo try and join this one to that one. Because, you know, it's doable because um, all we would have to do is to put a, uh, a shelter down below and another one on top. And it should overlap that one. So we would have to take those two walls down, uh, which would be a bit of a shame. But we could try it. Now this one's got a little bit more space on it. So I'm going to try doing that from up there. Because I can actually stand on the wall. I could probably do it from that uh, on that one as well, standing on the wall. But uh, go away, little boys, go away. So let's go up here and see if I can place this found uh, the foundation down. Oh, nearly from up here might be able to get a little bit more uh, square the only problem we've got are these uh, bloody branches so let's go into tab let's go to the foundation there we go so as we can clearly see looking at that there is actually no stairs attached to it which is good which is very good Right, let's go backwards a little bit over there yeah that's going to be our only downfall is the um is those branches in our way but it's not it's not at all a problem oh now it's bloody night time which is a problem turn the old uh spectacles spectacles on i want to get that leg that far left leg on the tamper ground and I also oh, come on come on play 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 it right play it right but I also want to keep an eye on the ones further up to see if they're sort of like at the same sort of angle which I do believe they were do I actually want it there I'm just trying to think now let me just get just give me a couple of seconds um, mm, mm, mm. now the only problem with having it here is people are going to try and uh, get on uh, jump on here and try and jump across to this one so what I might actually do is just for today try and stick it on that one over there Turn it round, baby, turn it round. But again, I might have to get a bit closer, so let's press exit on that. And see if I can... Whoop, nope, we're not going to do it from there. These bloody zombies. Where's my door gone? There it is. Go away. Already told you once or twice today. Go away and leave me alone. Uh, the only other way of probably trying it is to put a uh, a furnace there in the corner so we can stand up on it. That might be an idea. Should we try that? Because we've got the materials that we've already got the stuff made. So let's let's stand here. Let's go craft. A furnace. Okay, we've got a furnace. So let's go back up the stairs and place the furnace in the corner. Press your tab. Turn it round so the hole is facing us. I think around about there somewhere. So now we can see the edge of that platform. Press the tab. Place the decky. No, down there I want you. Not up in the bloody air like that. Stop it. 
Don't be messing around. Hmm. This is not going to be uh, at all too easy. Now I can put one there. Right next to that. If I wanted to. Because nobody else can build it uh, close to my place because of the uh, the tamps that I've put down. Uh, this is uh, beginning to be a bit of a, a pain in the arse. Alright, let's try jumping up on the wall again. Right, where are we are actually on the wall. Let's try it once more. And it's still going to do the same. It's because of that bloody tree, I think. Perhaps I should go down and chop that tree down. No, it's not going to do it. So let's go down and stand on the platform. But we're going to be pestered now by these poxy ass zombies. I'm going to try and get it as level or as square as I possibly can. But I can't see because I am too bloody close. Hmm. Oh dear, this is. Uh, well, you all know yourself how difficult these uh, things can be to. Uh, to place oh, why are those zombies gone very quiet that's not at all level no they are not very easy to place at all go away and leave me alone I don't want it at all on the ground, you know, on the uh, the normal ground. I want it actually all on the tamp. But I can't see that back leg properly. How's that? Right, these legs are on the tamp. That doesn't look actually too bad. It looks fairly sort of like pretty well much the same sort of distance between that leg to the edge of the tamp there maybe just slightly off but they're they're actually on the tamp <sighs> and now we could probably just put these legs uh sorry the legs the stairs now again now the only problem we've got is look how close that is to that now but nobody is going to be able to build on this because it's mine Right, okay. So now let's have a look, a quick look at the stairs to see where we can actually place the stairs. Actually, no, let's try the ramp. Place. Okay. I see. So it comes at a sort of an angle. Can we turn it around? Unless you can't place it on... Why is it red? Maybe it needs a little bit more room. Can't turn like what about the stairs? Uh stairs. That shouldn't be red. Whoa, piss off. Leave me alone. No, you wouldn't have thought that would be red. No, you can't place, cannot place object at this location. Place it that way. Now there's actually nothing there now in the way. So you'd have thought you'd have been able to place that down there. Um, let's try on the outside. No. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a uh, a bit of a task, methinks. Unless, of course, because I made that tamp 
uh, sorry, that foundation. Um, and it needs a, another one, a, you know, a special coin. But they've taken the stairs off of that one, so so it should it should work. Right, let's try. Let's go quickly. Go back into the original base over here. I can jump onto that uh, foundation then from from here. I do apologise for recording in the dark. It's a friggin' pain in the ass. Right, let's try it from up here. Uh, right, stairs. Place of the stairs. You can't place it on the foundation, so it's got to be off. But that is off. So why is it not playing games with us? Hmm. What about inside here? Can't place it in here because there's no uh, there's no foundation. So perhaps it only works on freshly placed um, tamps. I don't know. We'll try the uh, the ramp once more. And it doesn't look as though you can actually turn. You know, when you uh, put something down, turn it with the uh, the wheel on your mouse. I'm trying to turn it, but it won't let me, so... And it's not letting me place. Not at all. And in this base here, it's not showing up at all anywhere. So, it looks as though this is going to be one of those episodes where, you know, it starts off okay, but then turns out to be a... No, I was trying to jump on there then. Let's uh, let's go back inside. I think I've still got that eye on me. Where's our door? There it is. Let's escape on that. And get inside. And see if I can jump up on top of that foundation. Whether you've got to be actually be on the foundation to place it. I don't know. Now that is going to be a task on its own, trying to jump across there now. So let's go thus away, if we can. Try and do a fast running jump over to that one. Nope, that's not letting us do it either. Hello ladies, I wish you would all just piss off and die somewhere. So I could actually get on with what I'm trying to show these lovely people. Right, so I believe, my dear friends, that was a total waste of time at the moment. But don't fret, we shall work it out. Um, like you know, it's only just been brought in, so there is there are going to be um, a few uh, little bugs. Which is a bloody shame, really, because I was looking forward to this. But like I said, I th it's over the down to the fact that these tamper grounds were placed before the update. So uh, and that tamp uh, that deck foundation wasn't actually made. I don't think I've got enough stuff now to make a fresh uh, um, a fresh deck foundation. Let's have a quick look. Uh, craft. Deck. Let me just see if I could craft one. I might not have enough stuff, so. Oh shit, I'm dying. Oh dear. Alright, let's get ourselves some food. My heart was pounding then. Did you did you hear it? Uh let's have a drink. Look at this. I was not paying the slightest bit of attention to uh, 
to that down there actually I think I've got a couple of um, uh, where would they be in here first aid kits now that's the first time I've ever done that you see I was so excited on showing you people on how to do this and how to do that failed but um, forgot all about my health all right, let's uh, see. Did I make that foundation? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. There you go. There's a fresh one. Um, now, with the fresh one, it's what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this off camera and hopefully come back and uh, show you that it can be placed. So give me a couple of minutes and I'll be back. And welcome back, ladies, gents, boys and girlies. Yes, that I think was our problem. Uh, because now, look, it's what I've done is I've placed that down on just normal ground. I've kept it off of that tampered ground that we've originally placed. Um, but now, I can actually... We'll try the ramp first. There you go, it's gone green straight away. But obviously, put your, um, put your cursor along the edge of where you want to put it. You can't turn it around, but that's not a biggie. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to place it there. There you go. So now we've got a ramp to get up onto our base. Um, and on this side, I'm just going to place the stairs. We can place them anywhere we want now. Look, they can have, well, they, I think it, it can't go there because there's punching sticks down there, you see. But you can bring it back and place it, and you can also put it on the in in between there and there, which I think I might place just there, just for the sake of it. Um, so there you go. Go away, you lot. So we've got a fully functional set of stairs, and we have a fully functional ramp. So you know what that means now, don't you? we're going to be able to um, drive vehicles up on here. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed, if you can get the vehicle up here, it may not despawn. Because I've had a couple of vehicles, even on the, on this uh, small se uh, series, I've had a couple of vehicles parked inside uh, that base there and uh, come back the next day and they've either despawned or somebody's actually managed to get a grenade in there and destroy it. So hopefully now being out putting it up here on wood it might be secure. That would be good fun. So what I think I might do is I'm going to go off and I'm going to gather a load of materials again. I'm going to set this base up. Uh, nobody I don't think will be able to use it because it's mine. Um, we're going to make the walls, we're going to make a, uh, a gate, and I think on this side we'll just have a uh, a doorway, because we don't need a gate there. Uh, yeah, we'll have a doorway here, so we'll have two way, uh, a way in and a way out, and a way in and a way out. So, <laughs> two ways in, two ways out. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I do apologise again for recording this with the night vision on, but we can't help, you know, what uh, what time of day it is. Uh, I, what I would really like to be able to do is to record all my episodes in daylight, but, you know, I, that's not going to be the case. Um, so we're going to take the rough with the smooth, but we, we, we've accomplished what we set out to do, um, and that was put one of these bad boys down, and attach the new members to our family. So if you like what you see, my uh, my dear friends, could you leave us a like, maybe subscribe, and uh, share my videos. Thanks ever so much for watching. I shall see you very soon in the next episode. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.